For this one, we again have uh, something that we are trying to take the derivative of. And on the right side here, we've got an x, but then we also have an x up here in the, new, uh, the exponent. So that's kind of my clue on how I want to move forward, because if I want to take the derivative of this, I really don't like this uh, variable being up here in the exponent. So one way to deal with that, if I was to take the natural log of both sides, then now this x plus 1 is an exponent on something that I'm taking the log of. So by power of exponents, I can bring this down out front. Okay, so there's some of my algebra work. Um, now I'm ready to take the derivative. So I've only got y stuff over here, so I'm going to go ahead and take the derivative uh, of y with respect to x. So that would give me 1 over y dy dx. And this is what I'm going to be trying to solve them for. This is what they want in the end. And the right side only has x's, so I'm going to take the derivative of x with respect to x here. And I can see that this is some stuff, times some stuff, so this is going to be our product rule. So we can um, not take the derivative of the first part, but then take the derivative of the second part. And I went ahead and just multiplied those two fractions together. And then switch the order. So now don't take the derivative of the second part, but take the derivative of the first part. Okay, and we get <clears throat> that 1 over y times dy dx is equal to x plus 1 over x minus 2 plus the natural log of x minus 2. All right, well, I've almost got what I want. I almost have dy dx, um, but I don't care to know what it is times 1 over y. So to get this to go away over here, Algebraically, I want to multiply that by y, which means I need to multiply this whole side by y, either both terms or uh, put in the parentheses like I did. And then I end up with dy dx is, so y times all the stuff I had. And so luckily, if we go all the way back up here to the top, in the beginning, I know what y is in terms of x. So I can substitute that down here, and let's see, what was it? Um, y is x minus 2 to the power of x minus x plus 1. Just bring down the rest of it, and now we have solved for dy dx. So. There's our solution.